hello everyone welcome back to my channel so my dear friends let us discuss some important questions related this electrical motor subject which is for the triple e stream vtu it is subject code is 21 double e double four right so i will discuss some important questions related this subject as there is non-availability of the papers over there so i have collected some information from the 2018 scheme also there is almost the same syllabus for this particular subject right so in the module first uh, before going to the module first let me tell you uh, there are some passing modules let us discuss first the passing modules by which you can easily pass uh, this particular subject if you want to score then uh, i can proceed for the rest of the modules over there so first you have to tackle the module fifth which is the passing module by which uh, you can easily score 20 marks in this particular module it is a very easy module some theory concepts are there which you have to focus which you have to ponder over there that is explain the working characteristics and applications of the universal motor this is almost uh, asked in the every examination frequently asked question it is there so you have to focus on this particular universal motor you have to just write down the uh, need sketch over there then you have to put some explanation part which you have understood from this particular concept then explain the v and inverted v curves of an synchronous motor it is again an important one then explain the construction and working principle of linear induction motor these are the three important ones then explain with next uh, need sketch the construction working characteristics and applications of ac servo motor next part is explain the operation of synchronous motor at constant load variable excitation and v and v inverted curves so these are the six questions by which you can score 20 marks in module fifth so it is a passing module my dear friends just focus on this particular module more than rest of the modules right then another passing module which is the fourth module which i will discuss in front of you so this is my dear friends module fourth which is also a passing module explain the principle of operation of single phase induction motor using double revolving field theory right then explain the construction and working principle of a shaded pole induction motor it is most important question which i call the super important one in this module over here then uh, with a systematic connection diagram explain the construction working and applications of capacitor start one phase induction motor over there then two questions will be there like a comparison of sing, uh, single phase motors and its applications construction and operation of split phase so this is the most important uh, uh, you have to cover five questions only from this uh, particular module that is module four uh, so that it will be easy for you people to cover this particular subject over there so uh, there are a lot of numericals also but, but i can say you i can give you the assurance by uh, covering theory theory only you can easily pass this particular subject if you want to score i will discuss later on the rest of the modules so that you will score also in this particular subject if you want so right then module 3 which is also a passing module so uh, as i earlier mentioned that there are three passing modules so it is the third one two i have discussed so this is the third passing module which you have to remember here then explain the phenomena of uh, cogging and crawling in a three phase induction motor this is the first important question this may be asked uh, this time also just because as far as the 2018 scheme is concerned it was already uh, uh, in every examination it was there then draw a phasor diagram of induction motor on load condition there will be uh, no load condition also but this is the question of draw a phasor diagram of induction motor on load condition sometimes they will uh, ask uh, like that draw a phasor diagram of induction motor on no load condition right with the neat sketches explain the working of high torque rotors of induction motor again and super important question in this particular module then cage and deep uh, deep rotor bars uh, questions will be like that uh, describe the constructional features of a double cage and deep bar rotors of three phase induction motors and explain its operation over there and you have to focus on some numerical uh, numericals in this particular module over here so that it will be easy for you people to cover this module also uh, if you don't cover uh, pro problematic part numerical part over there so at least you will get uh, 10 to 12 marks in this particular module so by covering problem also simple problems you can easily configure this module also so now rest of the two modules if you want to score so i have taken some important questions which you have to ponder over there that is module first module first derive the uh, armature torque equation of a dc motor what is the back emf and its significance this is most important one derive an armature uh, torque equation of a dc motor you have to do derivation over here then what is a necessity of starter explain the operation of a three-point starter four-point starter right 
then condition for maximum efficiency in dc motors and also losses in dc motors you have to focus on you have to ponder on over there then explain the speed control of a dc shunt motor by field control method then uh, with neat sketch explain ward lenard system of speed control it is again an important one then characteristics of shunt comma series and compound mo compound motors you have to focus on the characteristics it is a very easier part so just theoretical part if you have some potentiality to memorize the theory over there so you can go through easily and write down on your a4 sheet so that you will easily grab the, grab that particular topic then speed control of shunt uh, series and compound motor motors which are the most important questions so i have taken seven questions from the module first which are the easier ones so you have to just go through if you want to score then module two in module two you have to cover derive the torque equation of a three phase induction motor and obtain the condition for maximum running torque then explain the seven burns test to determine no load losses of a dc machine what are the limitations of this test so these are the two questions which i dis which i discussed in front of you then the, then the most important questions which will come in front of you that is discuss the complete torque slip characteristics of three phase induction motor including um, uh, motoring and generating and braking over there then with a neat sketch explain importance and procedure of field test on dc motor just focus more on this field test it is always asked in the vtu examination okay friends so then a retardation test will be there Hopkinson's test will be there so quality to discussion these are not uh, too much important ones but you have to give importance to these questions as per syllabus of ETU the, it will be asked in the examination then significance of slip it will be asked then various losses occurring in a DC machine so these are the uh, con this is the uh, too much content to pass this particular subject also you can score easily in this electric motor subject in which most of the students were carrying about this they were asking that uh, please upload the video on this particular subject and they are worrying how to pass it so passing package i have already discussed it. if you want to score also so i have discussed those two modules also by which you can score easily so my dear friends i hope this much content will definitely help you in the examination part so make sure you will share this video to your batchmates also so that they can avail also benefits from these type of contents so thanks for watching my video